Very good. Sunday morning, the 5th. Our heading, God-centered ministry. I read from Philippians 1.20, and Paul says, I eagerly expect and hope that now, as always, Christ will be exalted in my body, whether my, by life or by death. So, firstly, Paul's greatest concern. The highly active Apostle Paul was languishing in a Roman prison, observing how the gospel had impacted the entire empire in just a few short years. Christ was being preached, even with wrong motives, and that was encouraging to him. For all he knew, Paul was approaching death by execution, and he didn't view that as catastrophic. His ability to preach free, freely wasn't the issue, and neither was his survival. In both ministry and life, Paul's concern was the gospel and the name of Jesus. And secondly, the food we eat, the food that Paul eats, right? God's definitions of happiness and health are far removed from ours. While we are busy trying to survive and maybe even accomplish something for ourselves or our loved ones, or even our Lord, God is a change of heart in store for us. This life we're living isn't about us, it's about Him. We are not to be preoccupied with our survival. We are to be preoccupied with His reputation in this world. The name of Jesus should be the food we eat and the air we breathe. Application. When we centered on God, we no longer need to obsess about work, our children, our lifestyle or our image. We can obsess about His name and let Him take care of the rest. Do you see how that relieves the pressure? We are to be wholly concerned with something that is certain to be victorious. The name of Jesus will be exalted. That's a given. Playing on a team that's guaranteed to win and having no other ultimate responsibility in life is liberating. It doesn't mean we don't care about the other things. It means that if we concern ourselves entirely with His mission, He concerns Himself entirely with our needs. That's no simpler. There's no simpler, freer way to live. I pray. Thank you, O Lord, for this new perspective of true freedom that we have in Jesus Christ. I pray this in your wonderful name. Amen and amen.